Good morning, traders. Well, U.S. stock indices did slide on Wednesday uh, after a cooler than expected CPI figure gave them a boost early on, but only to run out of steam and ultimately finish in the red as, as Fed minutes uh, that came out late in the session stoked some recession fears. The Dow outperformed its peers down around 38 points as investors continued to favour defensive stocks over the more risk-sensitive growth stocks in the NASDAQ and the Russell. Um, there was a market-wide dovish reaction to the US CPI coming out cooler than expected, 5% year on year, where 52 was expected. This saw st uh, stocks rally strongly. This move up was faded late in the session though and hawkish remarks from various Fed members that, that reiterated that despite the recent cooling and in inflation, the Fed had some work to do to bring it back into the target range. Um, also, the uh, what, as I mentioned before, Federal Reserve minutes released late in the session did stoke recession fears as some members um, did predict there would be a mild recession later this year. FX markets, US dollar tumbled on the CPI figures. Uh, dollar index crash, crashed through its short-term support there, uh, down to around the 101.44 level. Did find some support at the April lows uh, that were set early in the month before rebounding somewhat. The yen was supported by a weaker dollar uh, and the CPI-induced lower US bond yields as well. Uh, dollar yen held its resistance at 133.85, where it's uh, been topping out recently, it did, and then tumbled down to a 132 handle before finding some support as the US dollar recovered slightly on the, on the hawkish Fed speak from the members. Um, Euro also supported by the CPI and a weaker US dollar, but uh, it was bolstered also by, fur, by comments from ECB members Villaroy, uh, who was hawkish on inflation, and Holzman, who said that the inflation outlook argues for another 50 basis point hike in May. So this saw the Euro US break through its April highs, touching on 110, uh, which is the highest, highest level since February. Commodities, oil surged higher, breaking through top of its range that it's been trading in since that uh, surprise OPEC plus cut a couple of weeks ago. Soft CPI data and a weaker, a weaker US dollar obviously are helping the, the oil on, along there. Gold helped by a weaker US dollar and also lower bond yields with um, gold looking to test the April highs before retracing somewhat, uh, settling around the 2015 US dollar an ounce level. Um, today's economic announcements, we'll see another busy session in the US with uh, some more inflation figures in the PPI uh, and unemployment claims, which will, will be an interesting one to watch after the strong non-farm we had on Friday.